And there are the great pyramids of Giza, one of the most magnificent locations for any squash tournament anywhere. And as you can see there, the first up we've got Hania El Hamami against Le Panther Kamisum. If you've just tuned in, that's why we're just a little bit behind time. We had to get the court wiped, and uh, that's a very strong volley finish across the court there from El Hamami, and she's come out of the blocks quite strong, Vanessa. Well, that's a good ball, and uh, she got the benefit there of the sort of softer floorboard near the, uh, the door, the exit door. It was, really was a great shot. See the way the ball bounces there. Traffic more down this backhand line, Vanessa. It's been a really good play in the back half of this game. She's keeping it away, and she's been she's been given a massive 11, bonus nine. there. Huge Game's bonus for Serm, but there's the hard work paying itself back. She takes the first game 11 9. It was in a, in a, I'll call it a mini hole at 7 4 down. It wasn't like crazy squash or jump trying to jump on the ball. She just patiently worked her way, maneuvered things onto the left hand side a bit more because that's why she's got to be careful on, on that forehand side. She's got so much and wrist power at yeah. the point of impact. The massive snap of the wrist there. Great hold, but it's coming back. Just wonderful play there from Sir. Very controlled, so measured, didn't rush it. Very no. impressive. 7 6. Yeah, it all stemmed, Johnny, from a slightly slower played ball down that backhand side. No. And it's the wow. backhand that lets her down. Yeah, OK, OK. We'd have sorted it at the end of the rally. We'd have sorted it. 10 all, the player must win. Been working so well, that backhand volley. 18 points. Fantastic oh, line. What a line under, in this situation. <laughs> Game ball down and just finds the perfect and way out, to shot. 15 shot. all. And it's in that trademark area. Her signature shot. Chance for Serm. Oh, it's loose. Yeah, oh. it was very loose. 17-15. Game two, Hamami. One game all. Massive cry there. Five four left. Starting to just Five, dominate the uh, short line area as well. She's trying to find other ways to win points. That'll uh, certainly do the job. Just like that. And out. Five seven. Game has been taken away, and Ella Mummy is motoring now at 10 6 to go to a 2 1 lead. Down. There's another error, so. 11 6, game the two. Hamami, Hamami leads. Two games to one. Lady. If she brushes up on those and gets those right, she's going to be even diff more difficult to beat. What a pick up. I mean, it's. Tough enough for Serb when she's Four coming five. up with some good shots and they just keep coming back and you've got to hit two or three times, you've got to come up with a very high quality ball to win the rally. Yeah, this is where it can start to get into your head. Mammy knew she had the upper hand there and it was there for the taking really and she's given away three, four, four errors. She pulled one back. Just a movement again, screaming onto this ball. You hear the uh, right foot there, the screech of the slide. Somehow, Hamami's still in this rally. The 
best rally of the game, Vanessa, Down. but it's ended in an error, unfortunately, for Ella. Eight. Eight. They're doing so game much hard work. Soon. But you've got Two to take your hat off to Camille Soon because she's not afraid to let her more experienced <laughs> campaigners know it as well, though. It's good to see. You. It's a fan, again, it's that forehand line. So powerful, Vanessa, with so much quick wrist action. Seven, two. Again, the explosive powers of Ella Mummy and the retrievals, incredible. Not going to get that one back, but... And out, eight, ten. Well, Sam just refusing to go away. Down. 11-8. Match to Hamami. Three games to two. What a match. 9-11. Yes, 17-15. 11-6. 8-11. 11-8. Well, that's wonderful to see. Camille Serm just tapping her opponent in acknowledgement on the head with a racket. I mean, 92 minutes. You have to just really salute the incredible athleticism, skill, and mental strength. Well, Gohar has got herself a sizable lead here. Yeah, great line on the forehand there from Goha. And she's really Six pressing two. Phyllis into the back of the court, onto her back foot. Yeah, great shot from Phyllis. Straightening that ball. Game ball. Down. Well, and the error from Gillis. So, uh, One game to To the power hitting with Goha. She really does need to mix up the pace. I thought she started to do that in the first game, first couple of rallies. She was really looking to lift and, and then move the ball around. But it's just difficult when there's the ferocious hitting of Goha that's so precise. You sort of get sucked Four into one. it and then she's just rattling off points. This is what Gillis needs to do. She needs to stretch the court out, test the movement of Goha. That was a good rally from the Belgian. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's the wrong shot. It's the wrong shot from Gillis. She needed to hit that to the back. Goha leads. Two games to love. Just forcing it from the back of the court there, the Belgian player. Yeah, I think that one at the end of the second was sort of an accumulation of pressure. It was an absolute barrage, wasn't it, from Goha? Yeah, it was just the wrong time, wasn't it? It's history now, though, Vanessa. Ooh. Just crept up. Savage, oh. absolutely savage. And out, seven all. Three games to love. She would be Eleven really four. pleased with the game drop down three love there, go hard. Finishing moments, ball sitting up, put away nicely by the world number one. 
46 minutes for that three love. Nuren Gohar getting past Naila Gillis. Three love, 11-4, 11-9, 11-9.